Earning season is still picking up, and today we're getting a cross-section of the American economy. We're getting a lot of industrial names, steel, and the banks. So this is a good way to know kind of what's happening out there. So even if you don't care about the earnings, Miss or Beat, it's definitely good to check in on these companies during earnings season to kind of see where we stand. So let's get right to it. Our first chart is CSX Corp. This is a railroad, one of the largest railroads, and they only have the one miss back in 2014. I do like the railroads here. The railroads like the election results, and especially this one because they handle a lot of coal from the eastern part of the country. So we'll see if uh, anything's changing with that and what they're seeing with their loads. That's something to watch. The beat is not as important here as what they're actually saying about their volumes. So watch that. Our next company is one you might not expect to see either. Steel Dynamics, one of the steel companies, STLD is their ticker. They only missed the once in 2014. Shares also spiked off of the Trump trade there in late 2016. They've kind of stalled out here. So it'll be interesting to see what they're seeing, even in the global economy, that's something to watch. Uh, the third stock this today is uh, one of my favorites, PPG Industries. They only have the one miss in 2013, but even all those beats hasn't really helped the shares. The shares kind of got a little bit ahead of themselves. This is paint and coatings, and that's also the auto sector. So people are a little concerned, I think, about uh, valuations here and where the shares can go after this massive run-up after the Great Recession but still good quality name, good quality company, and I always tune in to see what they have to say is going on in the U.S. economy. And then our fourth stock today is a bank. Now this one's a little cheater, even though they haven't missed, but they only went IPO in 2014. They're in Providence, Rhode Island, and you can see that big boost like all the bank stocks got, um, but they have pulled back. So you know, for someone like me who likes the banks, this could be a buying opportunity, but I'm going to be watching a lot of these regional bank reports and to see what they're saying. And then finally, one of the best charts I think out there is Snap-on. They still haven't missed. Uh, beats across the board for five years plus running, but the shares have stalled somewhat. They also are kind of auto-related. They make a lot of the equipment that the um, auto repair people use to make repairs on automobiles. So, um, you know, that this will be something to watch to see what they're seeing in 2017. Are they seeing any uptick in business there? I'm going to be tuning into this one. It's Milwaukee-based, so real Midwest gem here. But this is one, if you're playing the earnings beat, this is a good one to keep on your radar. Now, remember, just because a company like Snap-on does beat every quarter doesn't mean they're going to going forward. So that's something to keep in mind because the past performance doesn't always indicate the future. But if they beat every quarter or nearly every quarter, as a lot of these companies have, I like the track record and I expect probably more of the same going forward. So I'd like to check in on these. Um, also, if you're interested in the options trades on any of these, be sure to check out what my colleague Dave Bartosiak is doing over on Zach's Live Trader. He's covering a lot of these every week and he's going to be real active here during earnings season. So if you want to play the options trade but you're unsure what to do, check in over there. You can also find some of those same trades on Zach's.com as well. But if you want all of them, go over to Zach's Live Trader on YouTube. And I'll be back all this week and throughout earnings season with even more of these regular earnings charts.